Hi, this is Erika Kasab from Small Robot Studio with a quick tutorial on Nomad Sculpt, a 3D sculpting app for tablet users. Today we are revising the retopology method Voxel Remesh. If you are new to 3D sculpting, you must know that topology or mesh refers to the arrangement of vertices, edges, and faces of a geometry. Retopologizing or remeshing means that we are changing this arrangement while keeping the same shape of the geometry. You will find the current retopology tools inside this top menu that looks like a grid. On the very top, you'll find the number of faces and vertices in your scene and the current selected object, as well as the use and available RAM of your device. Other less abstract ways to keep track of your topology is by turning on and off the wireframe with this icon in the bottom quick buttons or inside the display settings menu by deactivating smooth shading. Let's now actually focus on the voxel remesh. This is the equivalent of Dynamesh in ZBrush. This model has areas of high concentration of tiny polygons and others where they are bigger and more stretched. I'll hit Voxel Remesh, maybe wait a couple seconds, and voila! Voxel will create a new topology with uniform resolution, meaning that all the polygons will have a similar size. I'll go back and use this slider to change the resolution of the remesh. A box will show up around your model, giving you a visual cue of the size of the polygons. If your original mesh had holes in it, Voxel Remesh will close them. Now, we can limit the maximum level of details when retopologizing. Go to the Display Settings menu, scroll down to Max Detail Range, and use the slider to set a number. As I move it, notice that the resolution slider inside Voxel Remesh is also changing. The higher the value, the more polygons you will have, so use it wisely. Voxel Remesh is great for freeform sculpting maybe blocking a shape out of a sphere. When polygons are too stretched, hit voxel and carry on sculpting. If you want quick access to this tool, go to the interface menu, scroll down to quick button buttons and activate voxel remesh. It will show up in the bottom. Another great use for voxel remesh is when merging two or more subtools or objects. Also great for another workflow where you build volume with separate primitives. Inside the scene menu, I'll activate multi-selection and tap on the geometries I want to merge. Just below, tap on voxel remesh, and the mesh is now one. To modify the resolution, I'll go to topology menu while these are selected, modify the slider, and hit remesh. Voxel will also allow us to cut holes into a geometry. To do so, create a separate geometry with the shape of the hole you want and intersect it with the main geometry. Now, hide the geometry that will become the hole, with multi-selection, pick both, and voxel remesh. Voila! This blocking is ready for sculpting. Alright, I'll see you soon with a new tool. Happy sculpting! That's it for this tutorial. If you find it useful, make sure that you leave a like so other people can find it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, as we are bringing out CG and illustration tutorials every week. Become a patron and access tutorial assets, bonus content, a private discord and more by clicking in the link below.